Hey, everybody, we're here for a new episode of Tier List Land on RLG Cast. I'm here with Putty the Putty Man, and I'm here with JD the JD Man. Check out their channels in the description below. And if you like what you see here, subscribe. And then subscribe again, and then drop a like and leave a comment and tell us that we're stupid. Anyways, let's start. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we're doing Alien, the entire Ridley <laughs> Scott Alien universe, which somehow includes Predator and also somehow includes Blade Runner. Suck it. We got two words for you. We're going right into tier list land then. And here we are. <laughs> he didn't say the word. <laughs> tier list land with JD. Oh, he said it now. Okay. I feel like the, a, a delay, Campo. <laughs> no, no, come on. You're gonna just, you're gonna just do this? Just let it what all be. What are we doing? I don't know what we're doing. Just let it all be. Let it be. Let it be. Let I'm it putting be. them in order of franchise releases. So this way, there is no mistaking. There we are. Thank you for doing that during the video. No problem. <laughs> um. All right. Tell us how it goes, Steve. Okay. So we're going to start with the Alien franchise, blend into the Alien versus Predator franchise, which will blend into Predator and somehow Blade Runner. Yep. We'll let, we'll let Campo explain that one. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm not going to explain it. You could do your own research. All right, first film in the franchise of Aliens is Alien. In space, yeah. no one can hear you scream. In space, everyone can hear you, Ripley. A? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, okay. This is S tier. This is the best movie that ever was made in history of movies. I mean, I'm still down for it, but I still think there's one better. There's this? nothing better than that What's here. This? What's this? This is the second one. This is Aliens with an S. Oldest I like that better than Alien. This is an A. I agree. Wow. I liked Alien better. John Hurt. It does hurt. Yes. All right. Alien 3. This is Directed the David Fincher. David Fincher. Yes, I was going to say the David Fincher film. He won't film. admit it, but he, well, he did it. Uh, <clears throat> this is, I don't know, this is like a C. I like this movie. It wasn't bad. It's not as bad as everyone says it is. Yeah, I don't get why nobody likes it. It's pretty good. Was decent, buddy. I mean, yeah, it's it, okay there. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm more, you know, I'm more excited with the uh, S to A situation, but that's okay. Okay, explain, prove your, explain no, your point. Putty would just put all the movies in S. You can't let him explain. No, I, no, I, no, I actually. Why liked, would you? Why would you swap Alien and Aliens? I don't know. Aliens was much. I mean, Alien introduced everything, but like, I feel like uh, Aliens was much better because of Sigourney Weaver herself. Like, she was more, way more... I mean, she was a badass in Alien, but I feel like Alien, she was way more of a badass in my eyes. You know what I mean? Yeah, but Alien uh, is a way better written movie. Yes, and there's only one creature that's hunting you down, and that's hell of a lot more scarier. I mean, it's no, more true. of a horror movie to begin with. I yes, don't think Alien amount... is more of a horror where Aliens is an action adventure. It, it's yeah. not the amount of Aliens in it. It's just, it's more thriller-based where Aliens is just, like, purely an action movie. I, I maybe, said maybe, a, maybe. it's a goddamn good movie. Like, we're yes, not pretending both, that it's not good. Both amazing movies. <laughs> we can make Either arguments way. for moves later because I think okay. there's other yeah. movies that are going to wrench up this game. All right. Alien Resurrection. That's a D. Really? It's pretty bad. I mean, Why, it's bad, like but no, no, I don't like it that much. But I'm surprised it went to D. I mean, I would say maybe, I would say lower C. I mean, Alien 3. Winona Alien Ryder is the only good thing about this movie. Hey, P I mean, Putty I, wants it in lower C. He can have this because right. he got dogged for aliens for now. All right. For now, at least. All right. So this technically is a prequel to Alien, but they don't tell you that. It's indirectly connected. You got Waylon Watani. Yeah, and all I, I that. got spoiled. I've never seen this movie, and I got spoiled of that, but I heard it was horrible, so that's why I never went and watched it. It's really this. good. I'm out. Is it really Prometheus good? Prometheus is good. good. Yeah, Prometheus is good. I heard it was good. horrible. No, Prometheus I, I, is really good. Just just in fairness to like balance out the movies here, I would say it's a B. I was gonna oh. say, yeah, it's the top. You can of argue B. it to really? A. I think you, there's an argument. I'm to very put it confused. In a. Every review I saw was saying it wasn't a good movie. Go look it up. It doesn't have bad scores. Go watch it, buddy. <clears throat> okay, now I need to watch it. I it has good watch scores. It I was told because I got spoiled for me. And and Michael Fa Michael Fassbender is great in this movie as David. It's one of those I, movies I, that like I've been lied to. It's one of those movies that, like, Buddy, don't believe everything you see on the internet. Cuck movie fans, like cinephile kids, that are like, yeah, it's not the same as the other aliens, so that makes it not good. But it's actually like a really good movie. Okay, well, like, I, I mean, wouldn't I, give it a I, crazy I, score. It's like a seven point five, a high seven. 
Better than the Marvels. Oh yeah. No, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I don't have to watch it. I, 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 don't have, I don't have to watch the movie to know it's better than Marvels. Okay. Anyway, go ahead. Okay. Next one was the final movie in this before Alien Romulus, which comes out, I believe, this year. This is Alien Covenant. This is a direct sequel to Prometheus. Oh, that's why. Oh. This okay. is also not a bad movie, but it's... I'm putting it right behind Prometheus. Yeah, I would do that too. I I think it's um it's d- similar to Aliens and Alien. Like the Prometheus is not a horror movie, but it's really sci-fi and like story driven and Alien mm-hmm. Covenant is like purely an action movie. I and I liked Alien Covenant. And that that, that was the thing though. I didn't know I If you like Alien sense. Covenant, you will like Prometheus. Prometheus is way better. But I feel like now now I get the now I kind of get Alien Covenant a little more. <laughs> Or maybe I don't get it, but I get well, it. Like, I, don't the, it like... I don't know the timeline of that, how early Prometheus is, but I know Covenant takes place like 30 years before Alien or something like that. It's like and Romulus takes place years. in between, right? Yeah. Like 10 years before the flight, the first flight of the Nostromo or something. Which is because even coming later on, we talked about this before we even started this, a lot of the later Predator movies I didn't watch too, which means I need to fill in a lot of uh, loose threads, apparently. So anyway, go ahead. Um, the first Alien versus Predator. Okay, can I just say I I like this movie. I actually enjoyed it. It was really fun. Yeah, it's not the same thing as Alien Predator, but it was as far as fun goes. Yes, I really fun. I'm kind of like here or here a little better than Alien Three. What do you think? I want to be. He went bye bye. I think he left. It's a hard D. Sorry, I'm trying to blow my nose. Oh, it's a hard D now. It's a hard D. Um. I okay, mean, if you really put... want to put it in front of Resurrection, I'll allow it, but there's no way it's going ahead of Alien 3 because this movie is literally okay. poo. It's because Putty, Putty's it's arguing poo. for a B, and I don't want to put it in a B either. I saw this movie in theaters when it came out, and at the point, I was not even a hardcore like movie nerd like I am now. And I was like, like everyone I was with was like, what the fuck did we just watch? Yeah. It didn't make too much sense. It's entertaining. It's a fun movie. It's entertaining, but it's not like a well-made movie. Well, like the best example, part is the Italian guy saying "si caca sotto." Exactly. Well, 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 here's the thing, though. Before Prometheus was a, was a thing, or you know, now that I, I've been spoiled about Prometheus, well, not really spoiled. I just knew it connected to aliens. I, I thought this was pretty much the origin story because it was talking about how they put them on Earth to hunt them, okay. and I like that idea. But if you, you watch. Know? The if you if you watch all those other movies here before you get to AVP, AVP AVPs and the second one's timeline and like lore don't match up with anything from the rest of it. So technically, there is a spot for them in the timeline, but if you really break it down, those movies make no sense in how they fit in. Canonically, the they don't make sense. Yeah. yeah. But does that even does that Prey has Prometheus? a moment? There's a moment in Prey that that throws off everything that happens in Predator Two. But yes. is this based on Prometheus or is this based on distant? Because the thing is, this is based I, on Alien. Period. On the Alien franchise as a whole. I mean, because the thing is, we didn't really bring Alien franchise never took base on Earth anyway. You know what I mean? No, and that's why so, it doesn't make sense. Well, no, no, but that's but that's my whole point though, uh, and that's the reason why I'm kind of about you for it is because it, they did put the aliens on Earth to hunt them, but again, they waited for a time frame. That left these two worlds where it was like, okay. So why why is uh, what's his name's character um, the guy from Mad About You, Paul Reiser? Why is his character so adamant in Aliens to bring a sample back to Earth if they've if they're already there? Uh, well, because we we didn't know they were there. <clears throat> no, you don't even you have to make there. that argument. Go watch the video I sent you. Shout out to Nerdist and their timeline oh, video. No, but it's it will, true, though. It will like, break it down for you. There's nothing in these movies that makes it fit into the timeline, and it throws off all the lore because okay, the Predators are come to Earth. We get that. They're here to hunt. So if they were here to hunt aliens since the ancient days and were helping the humans learn why things, they why did they the come back predator later predator to hunt humans, humans and not the aliens? Okay, I, I agree with you on that. Okay, I get, okay I'll, I'll give you that one. That one is true. It's based on the Predator story. You're right, okay? Because then it should have been hunting the, the But even in the there. Alien story, it doesn't line up. But you'll see. Well, it, it's it's not that it doesn't fit in the timeline. It does. But you have to be willing to but, overlook the no, things I, that are things. that it's missing. Okay, I agree. I agree. I, I will give it that. Then you're right about that. That's I'm not why I'm that. knocking but, it down. But see, I actually enjoy I just don't movie. think it's I, a very good movie. It's really? entertaining. Okay. I enjoy the hell out of this movie. Now, as for the sequel, Miles are going to go in there. Yeah, that can go in crap. 
I want to actually just say this. I know we don't have one, but that's F tier. Yeah. That movie is a solid three out of 10. There is no D tier. It is F tier officially. There, right. done. I like it. Because just like a grading in school, there's no, there's no, it's just fail. Predator, the first one. I would put this in A. Yeah, but it's it, it's like, I'll I'll say A, but it's not as good as no. It's not even close to as good as Aliens. No, but so it I did think give us we're, get we're to slowly, the chopper. We're kind of argue. We're we're slowly helping Putty's argument here. Let's continue. Yeah. This did give us uh, get to the chopper though. Predator Two. If we're gonna talk about all the dumb action movies on here that make no sense, this one this is, the is best one of them. One. This and is see, the that's, best that one. that I agree with. Th- th- this was such a weird movie. Like, well, first off, we found out apparently predators don't kill pregnant women, which I think that gets contradicted <laughs> later too, doesn't it? I don't know. But um, uh, the, apparently they don't wear, uh, they don't kill pregnant women. They um, um, they're just they, looking they, for the strongest warriors. I, I mean, they're not here to they, wipe out humans. They're here to fight a battle to go back to their planet and say they won. Yeah. It was it, it just this one was very the, this one felt like um a, a a Jason in New York kind of movie. It felt like it was doing that Jason kind of takes project. Manhattan. Jason, yeah, it really. It's still a like hell that. of a fun movie, Jason takes Manhattan. But oh, you that get movie what I'm saying sucks. though. But you get what I'm saying though. It felt like that. So, it, it, so it, okay, I, I, Campo, where would you say this goes? I'm I saying want to B. say like my personal feelings. It's a B. It's the bottom of B. But like yeah. in terms of being objective, it's see. the top of C. I'm a C person too. Okay. Give it to top. me at the top of C. Top of C. We're good. Um, Predators. This is the one with uh, the guy with the nose. It's not a- as Brody. good as Alien 3, but I don't know if it's better or worse than AVP. You guys can discuss that while I blow my nose again. Well, I can't discuss it. These are literally. You never watched it? Then I'm, yeah. I think it's better than AVP. I actually think it's better than Alien 3. But. Campo probably won't agree with it, so we'll Just put it behind. It. You can have a win. Yeah. He got a win. I got a win. You can have a win. Where did I get a win? Where was my win? Your win was AVP not being in D. Oh wow, really? That's yeah. yeah my I went to AVP and B, not not uh, uh, like good lord. That wasn't. A That's win why we put it in C. You wanted it in oh, B. Whatever. We wanted it in F, so we put it in C. I mean, I wouldn't have put it in F when we had a D. It was a D. It's not an F. This is a fucking F. Yeah, this one was bad. Almost I, almost as bad. Not as bad as the second one. As the second AVP. Yeah, I, I I went to theaters to watch this, and I was skunk level drunk. And it was not good. This is the one with the guy who played RoboCop, right? Joel Kinnaman? It's, and, yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's, the one with guy. The, it's the one with the black sheriff guy that just chews gum. His whole identity is that he chews gum. It's so stupid. What's he his name? Smokes Key cigarettes and Peele were and he there too, gums. right? Uh, Keegan Michael Key. Yeah, he's in that too. He's the best part of that. Prey. Prey is... I actually liked Prey. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I I think it's better than Covenant. I would agree. This was a really good yeah, movie. That's a really it good tells, movie. It tells a really good story. It tells. It's kinda arguably like... the best Predator movie. It's just not a better movie than Predator. And I think Shane Black wrote this one too. I don't know for sure, but I, he had something like, to do with it. I in know terms that. of base being based around Predator, it's it's the best one I think. But in terms of a movie, just generally, I think Predator is better. Um, yeah, this this I think I like the concept of going back to to like not ancient times, but earlier times, like pioneer times. Well, and the stuff next like one that. is supposed to be Samurais. Oh, that'd be cool. So, but in this movie, she gives a flintlock rifle. She gets it from a Predator. Mm-hmm. And it that says, was the Ant- flintlock of the guys that captured him. Okay, so Ant- Antone- Antolini or something, it's like an Italian explorer. So there's a comic book. I'll tell you this lore. I'm not going to explain Blade Runner, but I'm going to tell you this. Um, there's a comic book where uh, there's a an Italian pirate, and he steals back the, the, the treasure that they stole and mm-hmm. gives it back to the church. And then they're all coming to kill him, and he a predator helps him. And then when he's he ends up dying, and he gives the gun to the predator, and on the gun it says a year. So I'll, I'm gonna get this wrong, but it's okay. Seventeen, it something. seventeen, eighteen. I think. Yeah. And then in prey, it also says, in prey it says seventeen nineteen, and in predator two, he gets the gun from the predator that that. So that's where it also makes no sense because if 
the predator who got the gun from Antolini gave it to the girl and prey. How did the it predator was stolen? Get it back according to according it back to, to the other guy. According to the comic, I think it was stolen by that French Canadian explorer and prey. That's how he ended up with the gun. Yeah, so but the then predator he gives it to ended- her. Yeah, and then how did the predators get it back to give it to Danny Glover? No, doesn't she give it to the predator? No, gives he- it back to the predator. I think the predator gives it to her. I can't remember. But Either I way, thought... it's the year on it is wrong. I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure by one year. Regardless, Blade Runner. It was still Buddy, a fun have movie. Have you seen Blade Runner? Well, yes, yeah, so of course. Blade Runner is fantastic. Matter. Blade Runner, I think, that, is an A tier as well. Blade Runner I would is an say S tier. S? Yeah, I can agree with that too. <clears throat> I ain't going to um, complain about that. Blade, and, and I'll explain Blade Runner. It's because of the androids. Um, the replicants are, are like the, the androids. Are the same. So the replicants are the primitive form of the androids we get in the later part of of the Alien series, right? So they advance. Yeah, because Putty, if you haven't watched Prometheus, David mm-hmm. is the name of the android, and David is that bridge between the replicants and Bishop from Aliens. And David is the one in Covenant, the uh, Michael. Fassbender. No, 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 no. I, 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 I get it, but I. How is it the okay? I'm gonna have to see. I'm definitely have to. So see. it's okay, the so, evolution of the replicants. To becoming... find out the Blade Runner lore, I'm only putting this on here because it's official now. Because Ridley Scott said so. Yeah, but Ridley Scott released a bunch of stuff in a special edition DVD explaining how they're connected, and there's there's references from one movie to the other movie that were cut out with Leland so Corp it... and all that. Yeah. So the bald, the bald alien looking thing from Prometheus. I've just seen clips. Of no, course. not the bald alien. No, that's an engineer. Thing. Oh, they're gods. Okay. So they're the, like their, gods, their yeah. thing is they came to Earth. They eat a little thing, and then and they, they throw the themselves in the water, and then their DNA spreads everywhere and it creates life. They're supposed to be like actual like gods. I need to watch Prometheus. Yes, go that's watch so Prometheus. Confused. It's actually really good, <laughs> buddy. Yeah. Putty, you haven't watched any of the movies in B list. Watch all three of those. Those are all good. Prey, I would I would say Prey is the, the best one to watch. Yeah, Prey go watch Prey first, and then watch the other two Alien films. But, but, uh, Alien, uh, Alien Covenant, I've seen though. You oh, have? Yeah, he saw Alien. Oh, Covenant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said I saw that, but I, that's why I said that's a little confusing. Like, there's, I feel like Prometheus might fill in some gaps. From that so I'm talking about Covenant. Michael Fassbender's character from well, no, Covenant. But, okay, he's but an that's... android. No, I get he's an android, but uh, but I mean, I didn't see. Like, I'm I'm asking. So he becomes Prometheus... obsessed with. Taking the engineer's knowledge and creating life on his own. That so he wants he to create creates his own life, the yeah. xenomorphs because that's his creation. He wanted to create life, and he created using DNA from the engineers and from. I'm guessing that that happened in Prometheus. Then. Yeah, and there was a type yes. of okay. alien, and that's how they, they made that small little xenomorph. They called it the Deacon. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But that's what I'm saying. I feel like that would probably fill in a lot of stuff from. Alien oh yeah, it'll fill in a lot of gaps. That's what I was saying because there were things that were confusing, but the movie's still and, good in my And mind. here's here's another tie-in that people have a theory with Prometheus is Doctor Who. So really? in Doctor Who, the third doctor, John Pertwee, his companion was named Liz Shaw, who is also the main character in Promethe- Prometheus. Both of them have red hair. And in Doctor Who, she left being the doctor's companion because she had a special assignment with NASA. Yeah, these this is all factual. So it's a connected. So it's connected to Doctor Who because they both have the same character name with red hair, and it's the fact that she left Doctor Who to with the special space program. That's crazy. And Anyways, we're going way too far off here. Yes, way off topic. Uh, Blade Runner twenty forty nine. It was okay. I think this is better than Blade Runner. Really? Well, I didn't. If it's not better, it's like right up there with it. I must have to see this again too, then, because Bert okay, better I'll, than Blade I'll Runner. I'll give it to this. I'll give it to this. Put it Papa behind a? Aliens. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that for sure. Okay, give us I a like little that. rundown. Okay, so in S tier we have Alien the first and the original Blade Runner. A tier, which are still fantastic movies, is Aliens, Blade Runner twenty forty nine, Predator B, great movies, Prometheus, Prey, and Alien Covenant. C, watchable films are Predator 2, Predators, Alien 3, AVP, Alien Resurrections, and skip these two, Predator and AVP. Yeah, and I haven't seen Predator yet. Requiem. 
I guess I just have to watch Predator if I want to see every single movie. That's so I'll wait till last for that one. I guess. Yeah. But I'm gonna have to. I guess I'm gonna have to watch Predator in order. Does it link to Prey and all that? Yeah, if Prey's on Disney watch, Plus. Here's I got this. No, 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 crazy no. It's theory. not. But... I got this crazy theory. If you watch the timeline video I say, all of the videos on this entire list will tell you in the order you have to watch it. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. But should I? But should, if I don't want to be spoiled with stuff, should I kind of stop watch that movie and then come back to that list because that's the way it sounded to me. It, it doesn't get, it doesn't get too heavy spoilery. You already kind of know everything that happens. Well, Prometheus, I still don't know what actually happens. Like, that's the only one I don't know. That actually, I, I just know that they were, the aliens are created, and you don't know until the end of the movie. So just Google the timeline. Google the alien timeline and just get a list. I think Leaderboard has a, has a timeline without I, I mean, it. I can just tell you. It goes Prometheus, and then it goes... Uh... Well, no. If, you, if it's just alien, it's Prometheus, Covenant... And then Alien, and then all the others. Is that so you're saying? Well, well if you're I not have... counting, if you're not counting Predator, Alien Prometheus is the first. But if you're counting Predator, Predator is the first in the series. So no, but, okay, now let's just count Predator. If we're counting Predator, okay, which so one go Predator I... is the first. So the pre- the new Predator, no, or the old Predator. predator. Okay, okay, Arnold's the predator. new Predator has okay. no spot in the timeline. It just, oh, it's really? just a movie. It just it's exists. just a standalone movie. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like the new Nightmare on Elm Street. Okay, it so it, it, it retcons every movie except the first Predator. If you really want, though, because uh, chronologically that does take place first, watch Prey first. Okay, so here's my question then: Predator, just Predator, the new the, the new Predator. Do I need to see it to even really worry about any other Predator? No. Like, is it? No. You don't pray any of that. Okay. You don't need to watch either AVPs either. You can. I've already seen both of them. I've already seen both of them. Yeah. I'm so kind of the ones okay. So start goes prey, prey, Predator, Predator, Predator two, two, Blade Runner. Uh, then it would be like Blade Runner, Predators. Oh yeah. Predators. Oh, see, I haven't seen Predators either. Predators has references to. Yeah, that has Chris Hansen. That has references to uh, Blade Runner. And- Wait, where was Predators on this list? Where's Predators on this? Right here. It's in C. Okay. See, I haven't. That was the one I haven't seen either. Either. So, because as far as the Predators, I've only seen Predator, uh, Predator Two, the original Predator Two. Well, there's no Predator Two. It's Predators, but Predator, Predator Two, um, AV, and then both AVPs. And that's all I've seen in the Predator movies. Um, and then of course Alien. I've seen all the Aliens up to Covenant outside of Prometheus because, and then. That, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Prometheus AV, will fill in a lot movies, more. The AVP movies would be before Predators. No, I, I, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, well, yeah. I've been yeah, AVP, the, the AVP the films time. would be after Predator 2. The, the only reason I'm asking is because with Prey, Predator, and Predators, I was like, okay, where do I need to go in watching these? Because when they were released, I know Prey goes before as far as storyline probably, but Prey came as like the last Predator movie out there, isn't it? So like if I was watching them, it would be Predator, Predators, and Prey. But then, for example, you guys are like, Predators, Predators suck. So it's like, okay, cool. I, am I okay to skip that's that? A suck. It's watchable. It's just not a very good written movie. Okay. Just don't watch Predator. You don't have to. You can watch it, and you'll know more about Predators, but you yeah. don't. Like, what I more have, more have fun just watching Prometheus and Prey? And then oh, yeah, that. for sure. Okay. If you already know basically what happens in Predators and Alien movie franchise, just watch the ones you haven't seen in any order you want. Yeah. Okay. All right. Anyways, thank you for watching. Uh, And watch, you know, like Rocky that connects to this. Yeah. Um, Creed. Rocky? I mean, is that that from the original Predator movie? Is that how? Yeah, there's a boxer in it. Um, Also, you got to watch definitely Rambo. Rambo takes place. Oh, yeah. Rambo takes place this. I, I guess Mandalorian connects to Predator and Cobra. Too, you know Cobra I mean? for sure. Yeah, Cobra. Cobra connects to Mandalorian. Yeah. Grogu's yeah. in yeah. Cobra. <laughs> yep. Anyways, right. thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Go check out their channels and tell us what we did wrong.